Hey everybody, welcome to episode 115. Build that house with me, Jim. Glad you're back. Today I'm going to do what I said I was going to do last episode. It's Sunday afternoon, and I'm going to put one additional layer of tie par on the bottom here. So let's see how it goes. I've got to take these strips off. First, I'm going to mark that line this time so I don't get the drift. And uh, hopefully, with any luck, it'll come together pretty good. Let's do it. Okay, so those are those little ring nails that I used for the uh, house, the, for the roof membrane rather. Someone suggested them on the comment. I think they were referring to the plastic version, but these are galvanized, so they're fine. And that kind of holds that uh, flashing and the um, tie par in at the same time. So there you have it. Another row. And we'll carry on all the way up. It's a long haul, but uh, it's the thing when you have a house that's uh, this size, each step takes a lot longer, but it's going well and uh, slowly getting her done. Graham the plumber's back on the scene, taking care of the plumbing action together here. And uh, it's going to be a good uh, plumbing day, and uh, we hope that uh, things go smoothly. They generally do. Okay, the, these two sinks, rather, are completely plumbed now. Gray and fresh, hot and cold. You can see these little uh, protection plates on here, so that when you're putting your drywall on, you don't screw into a pipe. That is done. We got these capped off and then there'll be a fresher test at the end to make sure that it's all holding. This is the other bathroom with the two sinks. They're all capped off, ready for pressurization and testing. And then of course the toilet feed here, that's capped as well. So if I'm not mistaken, all of upstairs, the two bathrooms are all done completely and uh just show you the uh, girls bathroom here they got two sinks as well that's all complete and then one for the toilet as well all right rocking it down the line there and uh you gotta love daylight savings i should get an extra 30 hours a month i'm just not a really early morning guy in uh in the early months of the year because it's kind of cold and icy or things like that i just like to uh hit my stride in the afternoon so this is great i can work an hour late every day tomorrow it should be done that's the first layer as you know i already got the first layer on the bottom three more shots and uh, we move around back but man alive, I'm so tired of doing Tyvek. I literally had to force myself to start today. Hey everybody, what a beautiful Saturday afternoon we got going on here. And uh, it's 15 degrees, it's the first day of spring break. Thought it'd come up, repaint these fascia boards. They got a little bit bumped and scraped when we moved them uh, up to the roof here and with any luck these final fascias will be installed in the next week or two along the front here i think there's a little tiny bit there and down here and uh so we'll freshen them up get them all looking good because they're not easy to reach so might as well do it now 
and uh, get them looking good. I'll let you take a look at it when I'm done. Alrighty. There you go. I did both sides. What the heck? Makes it a little easier. One less thing you have to think about when you install them. You just, you're good to go both ways. So there we have it looking good. And I'm off of the roof, man. All right. Now I'm going to get back up there and do a second row of Taipar. And, uh, I just got down from the roof there. That whole procedure took about three hours to paint four or five fascias, which is, you know, a detail that you might not even see from down here, but they were pretty scraped up. So I just felt the need to do that because we're going to get that fascia installed up there in the next week or two, which would be beautiful. It's amazing how, how long everything takes, you know, it's like, uh, been doing this for a while now, right? Okay, there it is. Row two, boom. Went in perfectly tight and, you know, how could you not get better at this after doing it for two months? So two more to go, full row, and like a third row for the top. Those are the challenging ones because of the height and the front will be buttoned up. And I took extra care to keep these in alignment because I'll probably have to be looking at this for the next couple of years. So any little thing can irritate me. Looks different without the windows cut out, but I'm going to be cutting those out tomorrow because as soon as the wind comes along, it just wreaks havoc. And I'll take a chance that tonight it looks so calm out here and I don't think there's going to be any uh, wind action. So we'll leave her. Alrighty, back at it again tomorrow on Sunday. Okay, doesn't look like much, but a lot of work there. I'm doing two rows at the same time, so I don't have to move the scaffolding. Well, I do that row, I'd have to move the scaffolding three times and then do it again. But this way, I'm, I'm kind of got this row happening that I went up top and I did that tomorrow. I'll move the scaffolding over or Wednesday, extend that row and then bring this in. And uh, I could harp on about everything that's involved with this a little bit more, but I don't think it's relevant. It's just getting done, you know. And once I'm done this uh, front, we'll go around the back. Alrighty, hopefully not too grainy folks. It's another late one here. 7.30. And uh, hey, I got the scaffolding moved over one more time. And one last time, I'll move that one over here and I'll be able to finish these two rows that I'm pulling along the top there. So uh, I think this will conclude this episode. It was uh, riveting. Another full episode of Thai Par House Wrap. I've been doing Thai Par for over two months. I mean, we were framing for six months, but man, it just didn't seem to be this grind. And uh, you weren't hanging off the side of a building either, right? Anyway, I don't know what to say. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. This is... Uh, it's been a good uh, been a good day and we'll see you next episode. Cheers.